Hey folks, Scott Kelby here from Kelby One. We're going to fix a noise problem. So I did a long exposure here in Venice and the, uh, the photo was very dark. I really liked the sky in this particular image, but I underexposed the image. Well, when you underexpose and you have to kind of brighten the photo, any noise that's in the photo gets amplified. Well, in long exposure in the shadows, oh my gosh, look at this noise. It's raining noise. And the built-in noise reduction in camera raw or that stuff isn't, isn't going to help you very much with that nasty noise. Here, I'll show you what I mean. I mean, it'll help a little, but it's not going to help like we need it to help. Here's camera raw filter. Let's go to the detail panel. Let's zoom in on that nasty spot of noise. Yowzer. Let's add some luminance noise reduction. It helps a little. Color noise reduction. It helps a little. Here's the before and after. Is a little better. That's not what you're looking for, is it? Okay, me either. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go open another image. So I was shooting a number of them. Some I underexposed, some I overexposed. This one's too bright. And I don't really like the sky. And you can see the water's not as, as good and the sky's not as good and other stuff. But because the exposure is okay and I didn't have to brighten it, go over here and look over here in the where the boats are. Look at that. There's no noise over here. You see where I'm going with this, right? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this picture, select all, copy and paste. Simple old copy, paste. Drop it right on top and it, it pretty much lines up. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to hold the Option key on Mac or the Alt key on Windows. We're going to click the third icon over here, the layer mask icon, and hide the brighter version behind that black mask. So if it's black, you're going to get the brush tool and paint in white. And we're going to go over here and we're going to brush in the other gondolas. Yes, <laughs> there we go. Yes, we are. We're going to brush in other gondolas because those don't have the noise. They were actually overexposed a bit. You're not going to see as much noise. Let's make this brush a little bigger and make our, our uh, fix a little quicker. And those buildings have it too. It's all kind of nasty. Now, we have one other issue that we're going to have to deal with. And that is, besides there, it's brighter, but uh, it's also kind of bluer compared to this color. So instead of clicking on the mask, go over here on the Layers panel and click on the photo itself. Don't right click. There we go. Just click. Okay, now, don't let this dialog box close up. I just did a bunch of screwy stuff. Just click on that icon. Now, go to the Camera Raw Filter, and we want to make this look more like the other one. So let's darken it. Let's make it more yellowy and more pinkish because I'm kind of looking at the color down here. And, and it's going to take us a couple of tries to get this just right, but let's click OK. Ooh, that's closer. The color's much better, and, uh, and it got a little glow there. We'll fix that in a second. But let's go back and do it again. I didn't quite get it. You could just undo it if you wanted to, but I think I'm just going to make it a bit darker again and see if that gets us closer. Ah, yes, we are very close. Just a little darker. And then I think we'll be really, really close. That's probably will do it. So if you wanted to do it right, you would undo it all and just get to that one spot. But now look, all your bad stuff is gone. Like all your noise and stuff is gone. Then we can go over here, click back on the thumbnail and get rid of the stupid glows here. Just paint the opposite color. You'll paint in black. Get rid of those glows that were there because we're just basically painting back the original photo in those areas. And then over here where you can see I missed a spot, let's get those, the rest of that building in so we don't have that noise, that nasty, nasty noise. All right. Well, I hope you found that helpful. And speaking of helpful, I have something that you might find helpful if you're struggling along with your photography. I, you know, I just talk to so many people that tell me they're really frustrated and like they don't feel like they're making any progress. They're just not getting any better. And so when I start talking to them, I start to find out kind of why. Um, and I'm like, what are you doing to, to learn photography and Photoshop and Lightroom? And they're like, well, you know, I'm, I, I watch a little video here, a video there. I go to YouTube and and I love YouTube, don't get me wrong. I super love YouTube. But uh, I have a YouTube channel there, Kelby. One has a YouTube channel and all. But it's it's kind of random. And you're learning little random bits of this and little bits of that. And I, there's got to be a better way. And, and there is. Uh, it's, it's a worldwide online community called Kelby One. And literally, we have 
hundreds and hundreds of classes from the world's best instructors. And it's not a random tutorial here. These are full courses that you take from beginning to end. We have training tracks that lead you down a path and help you to learn and, and to really learn and not just pick up a thing here or there, but to actually grow and get results. And at the end of the day, that's what we want. You want to you wanna look back at the end of the year and go, man, I can't believe how much better I am this year than I was last year. If you're frustrated and you're just not getting results, go to kelby1.com. You can sign up for as little as 10 bucks a month. You'll have access to over 300 courses on Photoshop and photography and Lightroom and all that stuff you want to get better on. Do you really want to see an improvement? Do you really want to see results? Give it a try. There's, you don't have to sign a contract. You can cancel any time. Get in there and start learning, and you're going to see the difference, and you're going to see results in your images, and you're going to love it, and you're, it's, it's that stepping stone to get you the kind of images that you've always dreamed of, the kind of images that you know are inside you. You know you can do better. You just It's tough to go it alone, but you don't have to go it alone. Go to kelby1.com, and I'll see you there.